How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this, a 3D printed replica of myself that was made using 3D scanning. I completed this project back in March of 2018, so a lot of what you're gonna see in this video are pictures from that time. I've made a few different versions of this scan, so I'm gonna walk you through what they are and how they're all different. This scan was actually done at a store called Me3D, which was inside the Mall of America in Minneapolis. When I had the scan done, I was wearing a wool jacket and a flannel shirt just to prepare for the Minneapolis weather. Me3D had a pretty straightforward business model. They'll scan you, turn it into a 3D model, print the model, and then send it to you. It's a very interesting idea for a business, but unfortunately it may have been a little bit ahead of its time, as Me3D no longer appears to be in business. I wasn't really interested in the 3D printed model, but I was definitely interested in having a scan done. So I got in the scanning booth, which uses structured light scanners to collect data, and I went through the process of having a mesh made. They emailed me the file, which is how I had my model made. This is the file in Mesh Mixer, and you'll notice it actually looks pretty detailed. However, once you take the texture off, it's a fairly low-res model. This is most apparent in high-detail areas of the model, like the hair. The texture has a very detailed look to it, but once you replace it with a mesh, you'll see where it was completely sculpted over, giving a pretty low-resolution mesh underneath. I had a few of these models printed out while I was visiting Stratasys, whose headquarters are not too far away from Minneapolis. For the full-color model, I used the Stratasys J750, a 3D printer capable of printing in full color as well as Pantone validated colors to create the model. This gave a very accurate model to the original scan. You'll see the color and the texture is very, very close to the original. In addition, you can even see things like the eyelets on the shoes, which aren't captured in the mesh, have been captured in the 3D model. In addition to the full color model, I also printed a few different versions. This fully transparent version was printed on a Stratasys Object 30, a single material printer that uses the same type of photopolymer as the J750. You'll see here in the originally printed version, it has a matte surface finish to it, but after a gloss clear coat, the model is very transparent. I printed another model using a material that's a slightly flexible photopolymer. This model has a little bit of give to it, and you can see it actually has a little bit of flex. Overall, I'm very happy with the way these prints came out, and I think they serve as a really good benchmark for where 3D printing currently is as a technology. As always, thanks for watching, and have fun printing!